everybody hope everyone's doing well tonight uh, what I want to just go through in this video is how many stars you should be using in your renders uh, now most people wouldn't using Lumion would know you can go from one to five but they all do kind of have a different I guess place in Lumion uh, in my opinion the most important ones are one three and five uh, the reason being is that two is in my opinion still a draft quality uh, and you're not really it, it you know it takes almost three times as long maybe four times as long to do a, a two-star render as it is to a one-star render and you're basically only going to use them as i said in my opinion just to kind of make sure that you don't have any moonwalkers in your animations um just make sure everything's kind of flowing right it renders out very quickly and it will just show you how your scene is going to interact with each other um and it just kind of strips away some of the effects that will um uh, bog down your render times um, like it, this may be hard to see on YouTube, as you can see here, this is a pretty messy render, but it nonetheless will move you around the scene. Just kind of, you know, make sure the camera's not moving too fast, that sort of thing. Uh, now if I exit out of this and I go into the two star, you're still kind of getting the same thing. As I said, this may be hard to see on YouTube, but it is a little bit better. Um, it's, but in my opinion, it just kind of falls in between like the one and three. Like if you're doing two, you might as well go for the three. So, um, yeah, the, maybe there is some effects that get shown in this. Uh, I, I'm unaware of them. I, I believe that one and two stars are kind of the same, as I said, just better quality. Um, but three stars is where things start to get interesting, in my opinion, because the three star has everything on. Let me actually open up the clip here. So if you look at the, so I'll just go through this quickly, but if you look at the, the, the one star here, it's draft quality. So that the purpose of this is just to get a quick render, see how the camera's moving, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, good quality. So it still says here, no globe illumination and volume cloud effects. Um, and yeah, th this in my opinion is just another draft. Uh, I don't know really what the benefit of using the two star would be. I don't use it ever. I don't think I have, but uh, number three, as I said, is the production quality. So this is where things get a little more interesting. So all of the effects are on and you are getting the same video sort of as the five star. It's just how much anti-aliasing it goes through and just how much it gets, um, I guess how much cleaning up uh, Lumion gets, gets a chance to do. Now, it's the same thing with the four star. I don't personally use this one either. I always use either three uh, or five. Uh, and the, sometimes the reason why I use the three star, and this may be somewhat controversial, maybe uh, other people have a different experience, um, but I find that if there is movement in the scene, like if there's people walking down the street or if there's cars driving by, um, I actually prefer using a three star with 60 frames a second because I find that those motions are much more fluid. Um, however, if I'm using a scene like Villa Cabrera, where you have all these trees here, uh, then I would actually use the five star and then maybe do it on 30 frames a second. Um, and that's if I'm kind of a bit crunched for time. You know, if you have the time's not a problem, then just do five stars at 60 frames a second if you could just leave it for, you know, however long and walk away. But if you are kind of under a time crunch, then this is the best thing to do in my opinion. So this video here, this is five star, and this took 15 minutes to render. Um, so it's about 10 seconds of um, clip time. And if we go into this, as you can see, you know, the trees are pretty clean. You don't really get any of that, like the fuzziness, I guess, that you, you sometimes get. Um, it, it is there, but it's, it's much more uh, refined as it is with a three star. However, you are only getting uh, 30 frames a second with this. So if there was someone walking by, they wouldn't be like as fluid, where if you come into the three star and do 60 frames a second, it's debatable that the 60, doing 60 frames actually makes up for the fact that it's a little less refined because the, the camera's moving smoother. Um, as, as I've mentioned, the, the people will be walking by, you know, maybe if there's like leaves blowing um, off the trees or something like that, then uh, that will all look, um, just more polished uh, and doing um, for my computer at least doing three stars at 60 FPS uh, actually was about four minutes faster than doing the five star so uh, I'm probably gonna leave that there um, as I said this this wasn't gonna be a really long video I just kind of want to go a few things and just talk about the stars um, because it is something that 
I kind of struggled with my first star Lumion. Like I was like, okay, well I want my render to look good. So I'm just going to put it on five stars and walk away from it. But where I had a really shitty computer, then sometimes those renders would take like an hour, hour and a half to do one second of video. Um, and then, you know, I get the final product and realize that I did something wrong and I'm like, okay, well shit, I guess I'm going to have to wait another like day to get, um, this. And it just was basically like melting my computer the whole time. Cause I had a very, very bad computer. But, uh, if you are interested in looking at any of these videos and seeing the differences, um, as I said, at the beginning of the video, I will be putting these on my Google drive. So I'll leave a link below the video. Um, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Um, it's been a lot of fun making videos over the last couple of months and uh, just meeting some of you. So uh, it'd be really cool if you could hit that button and join us in some other videos. Have a great night, guys. I'll see you in the next one.